Yeah, we were setting out some additional telemetry receivers. We want to get better coverage uh, around the Federalsburg area. The Nanticoke and the Marshy Hope are connected systems, and we have a unique Maryland population of sturgeon. Here we're beginning to see the Marshy Hope Creek open up. We've just been through this really dense swamp area. And here it's opening up to these beautiful extensive marshes. And you'll see more and more of this as you head down to the confluence with the Nanticoke River. These kinds of fringes we don't see in other estuaries in the, in the Chesapeake Bay, and most in the, certainly in Maryland's part of the Chesapeake Bay. This kind of habitat's very rare. Uh, we've been working for 10 years on the Marshy Hope Creek. And a big part of that is uh, electronically tagging Atlantic sturgeon. And thus far, we've tagged over 30 Atlantic sturgeon. And we have receivers about every one mile in the Marshy Hook Creek. So we know a lot about their movement behaviors, when they come in, when they go. There, I think about, so the sound that you heard, that was kind of like very deliberate tapping, was the sound of a transmitter. The sturgeon goes by, it's basically the same thing that would happen. Uh, we also were curious to see if we could find their critical habitat, which is cobble, these cobble beds upon which the eggs need to attach. And our estimates are that spawning run size is less than 40, 40 fish. That's just, that would make it the world's smallest Atlantic sturgeon population. And it's really on a knife edge of vulnerability. My name is Matthew Baldwin. I'm a fisheries biologist for the state of Maryland. We are on the Marshy Hope Creek. Um, and we are fishing for sturgeon. We are up uh, setting gill net for them this time of year, and we're trying to catch them to be able to put uh, tags in them to be able to track them. Uh, we use a large mesh gill net. Um, the meshes are so large, they're from 12 to 14 inches, and uh, they pretty much catch um, only the sturgeon. There aren't many out here. Um, a good day would be catching a fish. Um, we want to be able to tag as many as we can so that we can learn um, about their migratory patterns, where they go, and so uh, they're out here. We just have to be at the right place at the right time.